What's a scientific fact that creeps you out? The brain can play tricks on you. When you look at a clock and the second hand seems to freeze for a moment, your brain is actually generating a false memory and your perception of time stretches slightly backward. This effect is called chronostasis. But wait, there's more. When you move your eyes rapidly, you don't see the things in front of you streaking across your field of view. What happens is that your brain just deletes that part. To fill in this gap in your perception, you would think the brain would stretch out that last image you saw before you moved your eyes, like a stuck video. But instead your brain takes the first thing you see after your eyes move, and does a copy and paste back over the blank couple of tenths of a second while your eye was moving. This fools your brain into thinking it sees the new view even before your eyes move to where you could see it. Why would your brain do this? Imagine you see a small, quick animal out of the corner of your eyes. As you snap your eyes over to look at it, the animal jumps out of sight in like a twentieth of a second, too fast to be perceived, normally. However, as far as your full brain is concerned, it looks like the animal froze in place for a few tenths of a second, which gives the mind part of your brain a better chance to register and understand that fleeting image. Caterpillars turn completely into goo in their cocoon, and then become a butterfly. And there is evidence they retain memories from their pre-goo days. Memories of strong positive-negative stimuli that they show preference for aversion to, even after metamorphosis. That so many vegetables came from the same plant. Broccoli, kale, kohlrabi, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, etc. They are, botanically speaking, the same species. Humans have just bred them to emphasize different traits. Buds, leaves, tubers. Imagine if humans were as genetically flexible. Imagine a person walking around with giant toes, but otherwise normal. Actually, plant genetics in general is a weird, weird world. Parasites can live anywhere inside of you, for years unnoticed. A simple migraine could be a tapeworm crawling in your brain, causing damage. Your eyes begin to blur frequently, and you don't know why, and it's not getting better. Losing weight and having diarrhea but it's not a stomach bug. Well, I guess it is. You are having a difficult time catching your breath and your chest doesn't feel right. It could just be some parasite hanging out, using you. Some mutations of just one letter in the DNA code can kill the fetus almost instantly. But some people live and have a seemingly healthy life while missing a whole chromosome. If you understand anything about biology, that's completely wild. Your brain literally creates your own reality, and your senses and body just go along with it. And this accurately explains how schizophrenics truly believe the voices they hear or their other delusions are correct something in their wiring of how to interpret the world has gone wrong, and their brain is only making sense of the reality that it is being shown. People think the brain sees what the eyes tell it to, but really the eyes pull up an image of blurry colors and dark spots, and the brain goes, Cool, so that's a tree. A fever is your body way of saying, We don't negotiate with terrorists. We either destroy the enemy or we die with them. You get and cure cancer in your own body thousands of times a day. Excuse me, what? Your body produces thousands and thousands of cells with damaged DNA. It's a bit of exaggeration to call them cancer, but if any of these cells were to survive, they could become cancerous. Your immune system destroys them before they get to that point. This is also why if you were to live forever you would eventually get cancer because the chances of your body missing them statistically increases. This occurs thousands upon thousands upon thousands of times a day. It's pretty cool. It's one of the reasons why the older we get the higher the cancer risk and why it would be nearly impossible to ever hit 150 years old. Cancer always wins. The first AI that can successfully pass the Turing test would be able to pretend that it couldn't. That as the permafrost melts, a lot of locked up methane will be released, and microorganisms there will wake up and do their jobs, breaking down organic matter, and release more methane and greenhouse gases. Your brain is making decisions before you are even aware of the decisions it has made. It also makes decisions based off of learned behavior, and you just go along with it. A gamma ray burst could wipe out all life on Earth instantly with no warning. A fucking what? An ultra-powerful supernova that sends incredibly powerful blasts of gamma rays across the galaxy at light speed. If one hits Earth everything is erased instantly. 
There is virtually no way to ever see one coming, so we would never even know it happened before we were all killed. The sudden urge to jump off of a very high height. You can be physically and mentally stable to the greatest degree and still have this feeling when at such a high height. I heard it's the call of the void, and it's a normal human thought. The best example is when you're driving along and think, for a fraction of a second, about swerving into oncoming traffic or into a tree. Is it the same as when I'm in the middle of listening to a presentation and wonder what would happen if I got up and ran for the podium, screaming? That's actually called an intrusive thought. It might be a similar or related concept, but essentially intrusive thoughts are thoughts of things you would never do nor never normally think about. They for some reason get stuck in your head and can be insanely dark or disturbing. They don't reflect your personality, however. I get intrusive thoughts a lot, though one time I read that it is believed they exist as a sort of regulation or check in our brains. So you have this messed up thought, but your conscious rejection of the thought is your mind reaffirming your sanity and decision-making ability. I do know the validity of that, but since I heard that my intrusive thoughts don't trouble me nearly as much anymore. Doctor scientists are barely keeping up with the influenza virus. It keeps on mutating rapidly. It really wants to get inside you. Just how big of a number a mole actually is. Most of the water on the earth will rain down at some point. The creppy fact about this is that the human body is 60% water, meaning that at some point the same water that runs throughout your body, the one on your blood, bones, brain, etc., will rain down at some point. We drink human fluid and the bed fish have sex on. Think about that for a second before your next glass of water. Obligate Sibicide In some species of animals, multiple offspring are born but only one is actually raised by the mother. The others are born only as backup in case the firstborn doesn't survive. When the firstborn is fine, which is the typical case, it kills the others. There is more microorganisms on your body than people in Earth. There are more viruses on Earth than stars in the observable universe too. After being decapitated there's still few seconds of brain activity that happen before you snuff out. I read this in the book Stiff by Mary Roach. I'm not sure how much I recall, or how correctly I recall, but two things stuck with me. Apparently they had to change the head catching baskets sometimes because the severed heads would try to chew through them. The other thing that stuck with me is that some doctor was experimenting with the heads right after decapitation. He would inject oxygenated blood into the heads and they would move their eyes around and look at him. Where did he get the oxygenated blood from? It was right there, spilling out of the headless corpse. We know more about the moon than we do our own oceans. It helps we can just look at it from thousands of miles away, but the bottom of the ocean takes a stupidly long dive. Honestly, nothing is more creepy than how deep-sea anglerfish mate. The deep sea is dark, and the anglerfish are spread very thinly. Therefore, when an anglerfish meets another anglerfish, it's incredibly important they get the chance to mate over and over again. The evolutionary strategy that deep-sea anglerfish devised is extra creepy. The male latches onto the female, biting her and never letting go. That way he can inseminate the eggs she drops. Not that bad so far, right? But wait, how does he eat if he's latched on his mate? Well, the circulatory systems fuse and the female provides nutrients for the male through this fused circulatory system. The true horror starts here. The organs of males start to wither and atrophy, being absorbed into the female. Eventually, the male is reduced to a lump of testicles the females use to fertilize their eggs. Females are often covered in bumps of several males that have melted into the female, becoming a literal body horror lump of meat on the female. It's rare, but you can die at any moment for literally no reason at all. Your body just stops working. That there are little crab-like things crawling on your face. So if I boil my face I have a lunch. Well, more of a small snack. Years ago I saw an episode of Monsters Inside Me where this guy was doing something outside and a fly flew into his eye. It only made contact for about a microsecond, but it was enough time for it to lay eggs. After they hatched they started eating his eye from the inside and he was starting to go blind until a doctor figured out what was wrong. Just imagine that, getting your eye eaten from the inside and losing your sight all because a fly very briefly made contact with you. 
Ever since I learned about this I get really paranoid when there is a fly around my face because of the fact that this could possibly happen to me. A buddy of mine is a pilot for a major airline, in top three of airlines. I asked him, exactly how much flying are you actually doing during a flight? Like how much are you controlling the plane? He said about 5%, 95% of a flight is completely automated. He said he's involved a little bit on takeoff and on the landing but for the most part the plane flies itself unless something major happens in flight. The sun will eventually die out. What's a scientific fact that creeps you out? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.